And now I'd like to introduce Hope Anam Shipman, who you'll be listening to portions of her valedictorian speech that she gave at Richwood High School. After Hope, we'll have our closing hymn, which will be Blue Boat Home, with the words on the screen that you may follow along and sing. And then that will be followed by Amy Pop in the closing words. We thank you for your presence here today and hope, take it away. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and fellow classmates. I'm so happy to be with you today to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2020. I'd also like to express my sincere thanks for this beautiful ceremony and all of the faculty and staff from Peoria Public Schools who have made it possible. This is truly a remarkable time. While this day is joyous, the context that surrounds it is unprecedented and in many ways difficult. We feel sadness and concern for those whose lives and livelihoods are endangered by the ongoing pandemic. We feel gratitude and admiration for the frontline healthcare workers that are fighting this threat. And naturally, we may feel a little bit of disappointment as we forego some of the traditions we have looked forward to in a collective effort to keep our community safe. In times like these, we could get caught up in what we are losing. However, there have been silver linings, and one invaluable thing that we have gained is time. At such an important turning point in our lives, this ample time, perhaps with fewer commitments, is in some ways a luxury. Now there's time to pause, to reflect and appreciate the past, to look ahead to the future, and most of all, to truly savor the present. Classmates, let's first take a moment to reflect and appreciate our time as Richwood's Knights. True, our last months of memory making may have taken a different form, but let's remember that our high school experience is not defined by a few events that were supposed to have taken place over these last few days. Really, it is the past four years of memories that have shaped us. It is these 1300 days of moments that we will remember for a lifetime. Think back to your first day of freshman year and remember how you felt. Maybe you were excited, maybe you were nervous, and just maybe you were feeling a little bit like Michael Scott when he said, I knew exactly what to do. But in a much more real sense, I had absolutely no idea what to do. Personally, I am astonished by how much I didn't know then. I could never have predicted that the girl I asked to sit with at lunch the first week of school would become one of my closest friends. I had no idea that the best part about Fridays would be hearing Madame Corey's voice sing out, Aujourd'hui c'est vendredi, early in the morning. I never would have guessed how much I would have enjoyed dropping by unannounced and uninvited over lunch to chat with Mr. B. I also didn't realize back then just how quickly we would be graduating. But most of all, I didn't know that I would be standing here thinking about these little everyday moments and treasuring them just as much as the iconic high school events. As you look back and reflect over the past four years, take extra care to remember these tiny, unfiltered, and genuine moments. For most of them, we didn't even realize that we were making memories. We were just living our lives, and that's what makes them so special. Now, this is not just a time to reflect on the past. It is also a time to look forward to the future. As a class, we are entering an exciting time. As we prepare to turn a corner in our lives, we travel forward from a community that guides and supports us to a new place, whether physically or figuratively, where it is up to us to make our own choices and carve our own path. I bet that right now, a lot of us are feeling the same mix of emotions that we felt our freshman year, partly excited and eager to take a step forward, and partly nervous and sentimental at the thought of leaving something we know and love behind. So let's not just reflect on the memories made over the past four years. Let's also think carefully about the, what they mean to us moving forward. We can pause to ask ourselves, what are the issues I've grown to care about most? What have become my defining personal values? What are my goals for my career, for my personal life? How will I contribute to the world? And most of all, what kind of person do I want to be? 
there are so many aspects of our future that we couldn't possibly predict. Of course, as we move through our lives, we will find new passions and rethink old perspectives. Still, by taking the time to figure out what we value now, we will be better poised to live our lives intentionally, actively carving out our future by making choices that reflect what we care about most. Now, after reflecting on the past and looking forward to the future, let us take our attention to the present. Class of 2020, now is the time to celebrate our achievements and express our gratitude to those who support us. Even though we are not sitting side by side in this moment, we still celebrate this special occasion together. I encourage everyone to reach out to your classmates and share your congratulations. Sign each other's yearbooks virtually. Make sure to connect not only with your closest friends, but also with the people whom you may never see outside of school, but that have become an important part of your high school experience. Now is the time to let each other know how proud we are of each other and how much we appreciate one another. Let's also thank our teachers for all of their support over the years. The teachers at Richwoods High School consistently go beyond what is expected to support their students. I know for many of us, our teachers will become not only our role models and our mentors, but also our friends. Send them an email or a card and let them know how much you appreciate them. I'm sure they are missing us just as much as we are missing them. Finally, take a moment to look at the people sitting beside you right now and give them a huge hug. Having a virtual graduation gives us all a special opportunity to experience this milestone right alongside our families. It also makes it possible to share this celebration with our family who could not be with us in person. These are the people who have supported us long before we became Richwoods Knights, and they're the people who will continue to support us long after we graduate. Let's savor this moment with them. Lastly, take this time to truly celebrate yourself and your accomplishments. To pass along a piece of advice from Mr. Clark, don't let these milestones in your lives go unmarked, even if it means celebrating them in non-traditional ways. Perhaps this is fitting, as we Richwoods Knights are not always traditional. We are unique, we are diverse, we are vibrant and talented in countless different ways. We treasure the individuality we have cultivated over the past four years, but today we also celebrate together as a class. It has been an honor to be part of this community. Thank you to all who have supported us and huge congratulations to the Richwoods High School Class of 2020.